On the other hand, the DGP, who was there trying to stop this delegation of the BJP entering Sandesh Kali, has now accused the BJP unit primarily Suvendu Adhikari of calling him Khalistani. Let's break it down. Joining me on both stories is my colleague Indrajit Kundu as well as Surya Agni Roy, both joining us uh, from Kolkata. Indru, coming to you first. You know, accusing the BJP unit, primarily Suvendu Adhikari, of uh, calling a Sikh officer in uniform Khalistani. It's preposterous because the officer also suggests it's bigoted. But the BJP Indro has denied it. They are saying it's the TMC politicizing it. But the cop in question says he was called Khalistani. Well, uh, you know, Preeti, the Trinamool Congress has now, uh, and, and the social media team, the IT cell of the Trinamool Congress has now come out with fresh footage where uh, they are saying it has been established that it is the leader of opposition, Shubhendu Adhikari, who did use the term. Because initially the footage that was, uh, you know, produced by West mm -hmm. Bengal Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee, it seemed as if the altercation was happening between uh, BJP MLA uh, Agnimitra Paul and the police officer concerned. But now fresh footage has been provided by the Trinamool Congress released by them and they are now alleging that now they have the substance and evidence to prove that it was Shubhendu Adhikari who used the term. However, uh, you know, politics of course ensuing as is uh, evident uh, from this case because this is a very, very sensitive issue and uh, the officer in question uh, really got very emotional, emotive and uh, therefore he did retort back. Of course, uh, there is politics ensuing because various Sikh organizations, communities, they have come out in protest in Kolkata outside the Bengal BJP headquarters. And not just that, we've seen uh, some sort of a strange solidarity now coming in with the India Alliance coming together and the Congress tweeting the same video that Mamta Banerjee had tweeted, Congress President Mallikarjun Karge okay. tweeting the same, uh, members of the Punjab Congress tweeting the same. So will this be a joint social media campaign just to uh, put pressure on the BJP because remember this is the first time in a sense that the Trinamool Congress has been able to exert some pressure on the BJP in the past two weeks because clearly okay. the Trinamool Congress government in West Bengal was on the back foot over the Sunday's Kali episode. Well, um, you're right there. And we, but you know what we're going to do, viewers? We are not playing out that video, uh, which the TMC insists that the word Khalistani was used by Shubhendu Abhikari because we can't verify it. We're not going to put it out. But uh, if the man in uniform who's a Sikh officer has said it. It needs to be taken seriously, investigated. And the BJP does say that they never said it. Uh, on the other hand, I want to now cut across to Surya Agni Roy, who's joining us from Kolkata, because we are also following on the investigation that is taking place uh, in Sandesh Kali on the women who've made the most uh, uh, shocking charges where the TMC cooperator Shah Jahan Sheikh is concerned. Surya Agni Roy, today you had uh, delegations from the BJP that tried to reach Sandesh Kali. So Vendu Adhikari finally did manage to enter. You had the left delegation, Brinda Karat, who was stopped. You know, in some way, how does the TMC justify it? Because I can still remember during Hathras, uh, Derek O'Brien had led a delegation uh, trying to get to Hathras and they were, sh you know, stopped and roughed up. So, you know, they can't really say that they were stopped there by doing the same to the opposition here. Well, Preeti, every time an incident has happened, at least when we, uh, in, in terms of West Bengal, as we say, uh, and if, if, if an opposition delegation is stopped from entering that place due to any kind of, uh, you know, uh, in fear of any kind of a law and order situation going wrong, uh, we have always seen that uh, the Trinamool Congress takes up issues where they have been stopped, uh, let's say, somewhere in uh, Manipur or in Hathras or uh, any other place so where uh, the BJP was ruling and uh, some incident happened mm -hmm. and they wanted to visit. But having said that, uh, that is the political part of whatever we have seen in the past uh, seven days, Preeti. But uh, yes, uh, there are two major things that, you know, that has happened in the past 24 hours. The first one being that the High okay. Court has finally allowed a Shubhendra Adhikari to Right. Sandesh Kali. Let's not forget, he's the only big, you know, uh, you know, he's the only right. big leader of the BJP who has been able to make it. No other opposition leader has been able to visit that right. place, although everyone had tried. And the court has also been very strong on Shah Jahan Sheikh. The question is, the court is asking, where is Shah Jahan Sheikh? So that and that's a question that we are asking, where is Shah Jahan Sheikh as well? And why is it that a Suomoto FIR cannot be registered against him where the state of West Bengal and Sandesh Kali is concerned viewers. We're going to let it be appreciated both you gentlemen for joining us on both the stories.